Department of Education listens to your pleas, we have taken substantial steps to address some, if not all, of your concerns. One of the common grievances raised by you during our school visits is the burden of administrative tasks. We understand the importance of allowing you to focus on your core task of teaching. Therefore, we are preparing the interim guidelines that will significantly and immediately reduce your administrative workload. This will free up your time and energy, enabling you to fully focus on the education and development of your students. Ay kay mong pakpak ani kay wala pa maning nagawas. Ilala man yung gibutang diri kaneng mga na dito sa central office kay aron ingno na sila gibuhat. Pero dugay na kayo yung sigig lalis yun aning interim guidelines ba? Duha na kabulan ang lalis ani. Hantod ka ron, wa gihapon. O niya na mo pakpak, bumagawas na ni ilahang guidelines. Kasi ito yung sige kontraan ni field o HR. O niya na mo pakpak ani. Basta ginabuhat ni na mo, magawas lagi ni siya. Makuhaan ang inyohang administrative task. We started with in the inventory, kung pila ang administrative tasks and we found pila 50 50 administrative tasks that is not related sa trabaho sa isa ka magtutudlo and sige kong pangutahan na sa ilaha dito kung sa day basihan ninyo anong sige ninyo pagsugo sa mga maistra Ana, tanan sugo isugo sa maistra pati magluto magdiworm Magtanong mo gulay, maistra pa buhat nun. Ano sa day? Basihan ninyo, ana. Dito sa Central Office, mga ma'am, sir. Ano sa day niyong basihan, ana. And somehow we found na ang uban, wala gay basihan yun. Buhat-buhat lang yun na papel. Ana, isugot dito, isugot dito, isugot dito. Without thinking pa. Ano saan pag-implement, ana, dito on the ground. Ana. So, and we reduced it to how many? Ten. From 50 to 10. Those with legal basis only. Another concern is the need for adequate rests and rejuvenation. Teachers play a pivotal role in shaping the future of our nation and it is essential that you will have the time to take care of your well-being. In response, we have incorporated the days of the end of school year rights in the official school calendar. Additionally, we have ensured that this year's school calendar includes a well-deserved 30 consecutive days free of any DepEd activities that require volunteer work. This uninterrupted rest period will allow you to recharge, ensuring that you can effectively carry out your duties as educators. So, pagkahuman sa end of school year rights, you have 30 days of uninterrupted rest without volunteer work. Ano yung po, dugay kayo na mo gilaslisan dito sa central office. Muna nga nang dili na ganyan ko ganahan mag dito. No, muna mag na lang kung magsigig at mga eskwilahan. Dugay kayo minaglalis, ano ba? Kayo mo ingong kung ano, unsay, unsay, inyohang basihan. Nga nun dili mo muhatag o rest, break. Nga huwag yung makatubag. Duha ka bulan, balik-balik may balik-balik. Wala yung makatubag. Magsige ko, ipasulat na ko ang department order dito sa Ilaha. Pagbalik, di kaya po mao. Yeah, pasulat na po na ako dito. Bale, ibalik na dito sa Ilaha. Ipasulat na kung sa gusto na ito ipasulat. Di kaya po nila, ibalik. Nga kung unsa ang gusto. Nga may tabo. Matuka sa kaadlaw. Ingong ko sa, sa kaabogado dito sa central office. Ingkulingkuran, tagod ni. 
Kau abogado mangka deba Sao Kau abogado mampuko Doha mata kau abogado dari lingkuran Tadi bayi tanau na to Sige ihap ihap na mo Si himig anak na o kalendaryo O unsa may ingon sa balaod O kani O unsa may ingon sa balaod Kani kani O kau may isa kaatlaw lang Nabuhat na mo 30 days Walay buhato ng mga maestra Nahagok na giyugoan ni trabahoan ni ba? Yeah. Kada makitaan ko sa mga tiga dabo, mga amigo na ako sa dabo, pag muli ko din itong kumuan ako, nahagok na giyugoan ni pakiglalis. Gani. It's, it's going against the bureaucracy ba? Ay, mga gato ko dito, mga na gina sila pero may sakuha, mindset lang na, mindset dahi. Ayaw kagool, kaya na ni mo, mindset rag yun. Mindset eh. Hindi. Oh. So, ang tanaan volunteer work comes after your break and you can still earn uh, service credits on top of your 30 days na break. Hmm? Okay. Ang next na mong pakiglalis, balik-balik, balik-balik, ang GSIS. Na ba sila, Diri? Si SISG? Ha, Diri? Diri lang dahil kumatanaw na dahil sila, Diri. In order to address the issues that you ha have surrounding the government service insurance system, we have been actively engaging with them to find solutions. As a result, we have signed a memorandum of agreement with GSIS guaranteeing a dedicated and exclusive lane for teachers in all branches. We have also established a specialized team within said agency to handle teachers' concerns, ensuring that your needs are given the special attention and support they deserve. Tingnan na mo sila, more than half of your members are DepEd personnel. So dapat doon na mo yung dedicated team para sa DepEd. And they, may na lang, they agreed. To show our commitments of taking good care of you, we have procured a personal accident insurance through the GSIS to provide coverage for all teachers and the Department of Education personnel. This insurance covers up to 100,000 for accidental death or dismemberment and up to 30,000 per year for medical reimbursement due to injuries sustained in accidents. It is important to note that this policy covers accidents both here and abroad, whether work-related or not. So you have this insurance, Dagan Salamat, GSIS. And we are also, as of today, October 5, 2023, the personal accident insurance policy is already active. Simbako. Ayaw lang unta mo mga disgrasya. And all teachers and DepEd personnel are covered. In addition to all those that I have mentioned, we have with us today GSIS officials ready to answer any inquiries or concerns that you may have. This is just the beginning as we are continuously working with GSIS to develop Kininindot ni. Sige, may o ko ang follow-up ani sa ilaha. Supplemental health insurance cover on top of PhilHealth. Ensuring comprehensive support for your health needs. Recognizing the need for teachers to have sound legal advice, especially when it comes to loan contracts, we are working on a website that will provide legal aid and advice especially on reviews of contracts that you enter into for loans. This will help ensure that you will no longer fall prey to financial frauds. 
In our commitment to transparency and fairness, isa pa ni, dugay na kaayo ni na mo o balik-balik dito. The Department of Education is developing an automated system for objective selection in the hiring and promotion of teachers. We believe that meritocracy should be the guiding principle in building our education workforce and we are taking concrete steps to ensure a fair and equitable process. On this World Teachers Day, we are coming together to express our gratitude and admiration for you, our teachers. We celebrate the lives you touch, the minds you shape, and the futures you mold. You are the unsung heroes, the guardians of knowledge, and the catalysts for change. But let me just remind you, our dear teachers, we have an incident Kung nabasa ninyo sa balita, di ba? Nga ang bata gisagpa sa maestra o niya na hospital, niya namatay ang bata. Um, initially, we see sa iyahang medical certificate na it was brain edema ang cause sa iyahang pagkamatay. And uh, the autopsy is ongoing dito sa... Philippine National Police, and uh, we are waiting for the results of the autopsy. Let me just remind you, all our teachers, that uh, the children are entrusted to your care. Dili ninyo dapat ginahilabtan ang mga bata. Nanay, koan word sa ato ang mga kaigsuunang Muslim. Haram. Haram na ihilabtan ang mga bata. Whether it be physical, sexual, um, verbal, abuse, you don't do that to children. Especially those that are entrusted to your care fully by the community, by their families. You are supposed to take care of them. You are supposed to mold them into the best citizens that we can have for the future of our country. And you are supposed to ensure that they are happy din ha sa sulod sa inyohang eskwelahan and happy to learn what you are teaching. So always keep that in mind that whatever you do will affect the life of that child. So make sure that your footprint is something that is positive in the life of the child. Next time, I will tell you about my experience about my teacher. Kung giunsa niya pagpabag-u sa ako ang kinabuhi. And how a teacher, an English teacher in high school um, inspired me or Kanang gave me gave me the courage na mo iskwela o law and mahimong lawyer. But um, I do not have the time right now. Kaya medyo taas ang ako ang ang ato ang uh, programa. But uh, once again, we would like to thank all of you. Tagan salamat.